Hey guys, welcome back to L Dubs Investing. If you're new, welcome to the channel, guys. And if you're not, thank you for dropping back in. In this video, we are talking cryptocurrency today. We're talking about general regulations, what is happening around the place, what is happening with the BlockFi evaluation, guys. All things crypto, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to L Dubs Investing. If you like this content and you want daily videos on cryptocurrency, stock investing, and all sorts, like and subscribe. Smash that like button, guys. I really do appreciate it. Let's jump in. Having a look at the market today, we have Bitcoin at 33,700, Ethereum at 2,485. We have selected altcoins in the red to dark red today, and we also have selected coins in the green today. It is definitely a mixed bag in the crypto markets today. What are you doing at the moment? Are you buying? Are you selling? Are you accumulating? Buying the dip? Or are you just sitting on the sidelines and waiting to see what happens? Let me know in the comments what you're doing, what you want us to do. Let's get into it. Alrighty. Mexico lawmakers aim to follow the example of neighboring countries with the proposed Bitcoin legislation. A senator of the federal government of Mexico has said he will be submitting a proposal to lawmakers seamlessly aimed at crypto adoption in the country. In a tweet today, his profile picture of featured the senator speaking into a microphone with the iconic laser eyes, indicating support for crypto. The lawmaker said that he would be prompting and proposing a legal framework for cryptocurrency coins in Mexico's lower house, specifically mentioning BTC. Only Mexico lawmaker indicators their support for crypto. Idriel, a senator representing the state, has also switched his profile to show laser eyes with referring to her as a friend to the cause. We are going to lead the shift to crypto and fintech in Mexico. The social media activity comes as the countries in Latin America have seamlessly been taking steps towards greater adoption of crypto. In a video announced to attendees of the Bitcoin 2021 conference last week, he said he would send a bill to the country's legislators demanding that Bitcoin be made a legal tender. Side note there, guys, if anyone doesn't know what the laser eyes means, that's an indication that you are a Bitcoin bull, you support the market, you're all about it, you want to see adoption, and you are obviously or you could just be extremely interested in cryptocurrency, and that's what the laser eyes means, guys. Let's jump in. Report suggests BlockFi seeks to raise millions as a valuation of $5.5 billion. Cryptocurrency lending platform BlockFi is reportedly looking to raise hundreds of millions of dollars in new funding at a valuation of nearly $5 billion, offering further insights into growth of the crypto-focused companies. The company, which was founded in 2017, is said to be the late-stage talks with a new existing investor to secure the capital raise. According to the technology publication, The Information, New York-based hedge fund Third Point Property in London-based venture capital firm are reportedly leading to the new funding round. The same report indicates that the last funding round has not closed, which means BlockFi's desired $5 billion valuation could grow. The same report indicates that the last funding round has not closed, which means BlockFi desired $5 billion valuation could grow. As Coindelegraph reported, BlockFi raised $350 million in Series D finance earlier this year, building on its $100 million raise previously. The platform has been a source of growth and adoption during the crypto bull market, which saw digital lending products reach the mainstream. BlockFi manages more than $15 billion in assets during the height of the crypto euphoria. Earlier this year, BlockFi clients were earning record interest payments on their BTC, Ethereum, and stablecoin holdings. Side note on that one, guys. If you are interested in BlockFi, check out the pinned comment down below, guys. You do get yourself free Bitcoin just by clicking the link. If you're interested, guys, it is just for you. If you wanted to start out, hit the link and you do get yourself some free Bitcoin, guys. Let's get into it. IRS needs congressional authority to handle crypto. Internal Revenue Services Chief Charles called out to lawmakers for not taking the initiative on addressing the problem of many U.S. residents not paying taxes on crypto. On Tuesday, Senate hearing the IRS reading said that the agency would likely require a clear dictate from Congress to regulate crypto. The IRS had listed $32 million in its budget for crypto-related enforcement operations 
as well as 41 million related cybercrime in the attempts to address the issue of non-reporting of unreporting taxpayers. The authority for us to collect that information is critical. The most recent market cap in the world, in the crypto world, exceeds 2 trillion or more than 8,600 exchanges worldwide. And by design, most crypto virtual currencies are designed to stay off the radar screen, so we are very challenged. Reporting who in reporting in April, he had intended to introduce a bipartisan bill aimed at addressing the problem with many crypto users in the US not paying taxes. The IRS chief added that non-fungible vertical currency would be one area in which the agency would focus to, to close the tax gap in the future, and he would appreciate the opportunity to work with the lawmakers. Last month's official at the Treasury Department called for crypto exchanges and custodies to report transactions greater than 10,000 to the IRS as part of the tax proposal for President Joe Biden. The agency currency has no independent verification of such transactions potentially lending to the wondering tax gap. Side note on that one, guys, what is your thoughts on this? Are you disclosing to the government about what crypto earnings you're making? Are you not? Are you trying to get under the radar? You know, in my opinion, I'm always reporting. I do not want to be chased. I do not want to have anyone coming after me for avoiding taxes. So please, guys, you know, this is what I'm doing. I would be reporting. I would be looking at that. You don't want to have someone come knocking at your door years later saying that you owe money to the government. On to the next one. NFT art marketplace extends range with sports and staking partnerships. A peer-to-peer -peer marketplace for NFT artwork is expanding its horizons, partnering with a project forming farming pools and fantasy sports site that uses NFT playing cards. A new P2P marketplace for NFT artworks is branding out having formed partnerships with a sports gaming site and decentralized farming pool as it prepares to launch. Polka Alley is primarily creating a digital art bazaar intended to make it easier for independent and amateur artists to showcase and sell their art while offering galleries and collectibles in an extensive revenue it supports both direct sales and dynamic auctions of artwork creating as non-fungible tokens calling nfts the nature evolving of art poly alley ceo polky alley is at the forefront of this great revolution providing the interability and seamless experience that the ecosystem lacks out of the niche in announcing a partnership with unifarm a decentralized staking solution that pulls groups of DeFi protocols together into co-arts that allow the staking of any particular token to farm onto others. Poke Ellie is part of the Cohere 11, which also features Open DeFi, Unifarm, and so much more. Space is exploding. NFTs are fully getting involved, guys. What are your thoughts on NFTs? Are you getting involved? Have you seen some of my other videos that I've gone over NFTs in details? If you want, come and check out the channel, guys. There is a lot of detail to go through. On to the next one. <laughs> Bitcoin sell-off likely played a key role in boosting gold's appeal. May was a testament time for cryptocurrencies like BTC. The flagship digital asset was already whooping after rallying to nearly 65000 in mid-April, owing to profit-taking sentiment among traders. Elon must accelerate the sell-off by reversing its company plans to accept BTC as part of Teltra Electric Cars. Later in the month, the People's Bank of China to the currency financial institution against the use of virtual currency for payments. China's authorities are also starting to keep a close eye on crypto mining process by which computers mine cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. More blows to the cryptocurrency sector came from the US Tax and Monetary Authority, including Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, who suggested that more regulations are needed. All in all, the flurry of negative updates caused the cryptocurrency market to lose more than $500 billion in May, being the benchmark digital asset, Bitcoin also suffered the brunt of an aggressive downside pressure falling 35.5% in that month. Meanwhile, physical gold exchange traded ETS recorded its strongest months in May 2021 since September 20. The funds across the globe attracted a combined total of $3.4 billion compared to September's $4.8 billion according to data provided to the World Gold Council. In detail, US-based gold ETF experienced inflows worth $2.1 billion. The European gold ETF reported $1.6 billion of deposits. Nonetheless, Asia's funds tracked the precious metals price, noted an outflow of around $300 million. Side note on that, guys. If you looked at my last video that I did over the last few days, go and check it out. 
but obviously we spoke in detail about gold. Gold on average has returned roughly 10% a year, guys. It is something that I look at putting into my portfolio, but hey, at a 10% return, it is better than obviously losing a 35% or 25% return in cryptocurrency sometimes. But hey guys, just wanted to let you know, gold averages around about a 10% return per year. On to the next one. Berkshire Hathaway invests 500 million in Brazilian Digital Bank. Brazilian Digital Bank has raised 500 million from Berkshire Hathaway, a multinational holding company run by billionaire Warren Buffett. In an announcement from New Bank on Tuesday, the digital bank said the $500 million investment would be used to continue its international expansion. The company recently launched in Colombia as well as attracting new executives from major tech companies. New Bank reported more than 400 million customers in Brazil, Mexico, and Colombia. All about adoption, guys. Berkshire Hathaway is one of the biggest investment agents in the world guys if they're getting behind digital currencies that's a big thumbs up guys on to the next one Hong Kong includes central bank digital currency in fintech strategy. Research into central bank digital currencies will play a significant role in Hong Kong's fintech development efforts. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority has published its fintech 2025 strategy with central bank digital currencies, both retail and wholesale included in the digital fintech innovation package. Unveiling the fintech strategy via release issued on Tuesday, CBDCs will reportedly play a part in the city's administration goals of promoting comprehensive digital finance adoption by 2025. Concerning its plans for central bank digital currencies, the HKMA revealed that it would increase its reach out efforts to ensure Hong Kong's readiness to float both retail and wholesale CBDCs. According to the announcement, the HKMA is collaborating with the Bank of International Settlement to research a, a retail digital Hong Kong dollar. This research is reportedly examining risk benefits and potential use cases of an eHKD currency. Bullish news. 2025 may seem four years away, but remember guys, that is the average time for the next bull run in the next four years. We could see this all coming through, through the next bull run, absolutely all bullish, absolutely amazing. On to the next. World Economic Forum releases policy toolkit for DeFi regulations. The WEBS Policy Toolkit of Decentralized Finance seek to promote fair, efficient, and forcible regulations for the emerging digital asset marketplace. With regulatory decentralized finance becoming a topic of discussion within the outside the crypto space, the World Economic Forum has published a policy toolkit on DeFi. According to a release issued on, tool on Tuesday, the toolkit seeks to provide useful guidance for regulators and government policymakers concerning DeFi regulations. The WF reported partnering with the Blockchain and Digital Asset Projects as the Warden School of University in Pennsylvania. DeFi entrepreneurs, legal experts, and financial regulations also collaborated with WEF, the development, the toolkit. Financial regulators involved in the development for policy framework include respectives from agencies in the US as well as people involved in crafting European plan market crypto assets. As part of the announcement, WF stated that the toolkit offers a foundational basis for examining critical factors concerning DeFi regulations with national intergovernment bodies seeking to craft and enforce DeFi regulations. Some stakeholders say small startups in the emerging industry might become definanced disfranchised what are your thoughts it does sound like doom and gloom but hey the fact that the world economic forum is talking about cryptocurrency any sort of regulations that is what's holding back most of the market everyone wants to know what the regulation is happening what does that mean for me kyc kyc guys this is not all doom and gloom this is great this gets the big institutional investors into the market it makes more people feel more comfortable investing and this is good for everyone in my opinion guys on to the next one hey guys thanks for sticking around to the end of the video don't forget i'll absolutely appreciate it smash that like button guys hit subscribe 
Check out the pinned comments. If you want to get some free Bitcoin, guys, I'm just saying this is what I use. These are the sites I use. These are the sites that I've used and trusted. If you want to get yourself started, hit the links in the descriptions. You'll get yourself some free Bitcoin, guys. Check out Coinbase and CoinSpot. If you want to get yourself a free stock and start your portfolio, check out the pinned comment to stake. You know, I'm just referring these guys because these are the sites that I use. This is what I trust in, and this is what is working for me. And hey, if you want to get yourself some free gear, some free stock, just check out those links, guys. See you next time.